What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another Best Tweaks video. This is for iOS 12. These are some of the coolest new tweaks that have been released. Uh, I've downloaded them through Cilio, but of course if you're on the Uncover Jailbreak you can get them from Cydia as well. I'll leave all the package names down in the description for any of you that want to download any of these tweaks and check them out. Uh, but I do want to mention here quickly before we get into the video, if you guys see any other tweaks or you're curious about anything else on my device, I've basically covered everything at this point and I have all of the tweaks in their own playlist. You can find the playlist link down in the description, so be sure to check that out if you guys want to discover more really awesome tweaks. But anyways, let's jump into this. The first tweak I got for you guys is called Board Banner 12. This is for... Um, devices that have the notch so if you guys are on older iPhones that don't have the notch um, you can't use this but it looks really cool in my opinion on all the devices with the notch so if we go into the tweaks here and we go to board banner 12 as you guys can see right there uh, basically it changes the banner notifications on the notch devices and in my opinion it looks a lot better it basically takes up the whole portion of the top part of the screen and it kind of makes the notch disappear which I think looks really good we can do a test as you can see that's what it looks like the test banner will stay there so I can you know exit out of uh, the application and you can see it. I, I think it looks really nice there's a few different options here you have your black dark or white default so I'll show you the white default so here's a test banner we can exit out as you can see it's just got that normal kind of iOS blurred background you can do a dark version of it as you can see there it looks looks very similar and then the black version I like the black version just because it does make that notch disappear when you get a notification uh, and in my opinion it just looks really good again that's called board banner 12 next up is finger lock this is a cool tweak that adds a little fingerprint to the lock screen as you guys can see right there uh, basically this way the way this works is it replaces the swipe up function when your face is recognized so if I'm just gonna go ahead and get my face into uh, the region where it can recognize me so now that you see that it is unlocked because it did recognize my face instead of swiping up all I gotta do is tap that fingerprint and it will unlock my device very cool tweak again that's called finger lock Bazzy 2 was just released and it allows you to customize the battery icon in your status bar to a bunch of different options as you guys can see there I have I think it's called the pill option uh, just looks kind of like a little pill it's got the battery life um, percentage in the middle as you can see I'm at 41 percent if we go in here we can go to Bazzy 2 there's a few different battery styles you can choose from you got default battery pill you have pill fill and then you have the circle option there uh, and then you have a bunch of more options with it but like I said it just looks really cool being able to customize the look of your battery icon in your status bar. Again, that is called Bazzy 2. Kill X Pro is a super handy tweak that basically just adds a little kill button or kill X in your multitasking. And when you click that, it will end everything from multitasking. Super functional tweak, super simple. I really like it. Again, that's called Kill X Pro. Next up, we got 3D tools. So if we force touch on an application, uh, it gives us some more options for that application as you can see you can disable the banners you can disable the notifications uh, you can lock that application so it will use um, your face ID to unlock it which is really cool so you can lock down apps if you want you can clear the cache you can clear badges and you can also uninstall the app from this menu uh, very handy little tool to have again that's called 3d tools Crash Reporter is an application that's been around for many, many years. I've covered it in the past, um, and I think it's a very smart utility application to have on your device. If we go ahead and launch it here, basically it's going to show you um, what has crashed on your device. As you can see, I had a, a TweetBot crash. Uh, you have app extension crashes, like if your springboard crashes, this will tell you, um, you know, what caused it to crash. Uh, there's also services that could cause crashing and stuff like that. So if you ever have like tweaks or, you know, you have tweaks installed and you keep crashing your springboard, this app will probably tell you what tweak is causing it. So like I said, very handy to have. You can click into it and you can see um, all of the information about the crash that was picked up on your device. You can view a crash log. You can view the system log. It just allows you to figure out what is causing issues on your device very easily. 
uh, and I highly recommend having this application. Again, it's called Crash Reporter. New Term 2 is another very, very new application, um, but it's basically an updated version of an old application. It's the updated version of Terminal, uh, and it is called New Term 2. Some of you guys might not even know exactly what this is, but it's terminal for your iOS device. It allows you to run a bunch of different commands and access certain things within the file system and certain things within your device. Uh, it's mainly for developers um, to use, but it is cool that there is a new version of it, like I said, on iOS 12, and it is called New Term 2, uh, a very essential tool to have if you're into developing uh, on iOS, so very cool application iKiwi 4 is another tweak that's been around for a long time that has been updated for iOS 12 and it allows you to customize your keyboard, your stock keyboard. It's probably hard to see in this video but they are there are some um, extra um, symbols within the normal keys as you guys can see. Um, if we change the shift mode it switches to the numbers so if you wanted a, a quick way of just you know clicking numbers uh, it is on flick functionality is what they call it. It's like the iPad. You flick down, and as you can see, I typed 1 and not Q. So if I just click it, there's Q. If I flick down, there is 1, um, and it goes across, and it's fully customizable. This tweak also allows you to add an extra layer to the keyboard, uh, which I'll do really quick. We'll go into the settings for iKiwi. Um, it's a pretty in-depth tweak. Like I said, it allows you to really customize your stock iOS keyboard, uh, and there's a lot of functionality with it. So... Um, as you can see, I'm in mode flick. You can do mode compact, which adds another layer to the keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that. We'll go back into the keyboard here. Let's go ahead and end it from multitasking, reopen it back up. And as you can see now, there is an additional layer of keys on top that you can access without going, you know, between the different keyboards. It makes you know, getting to your numbers much easier if you turn on turn off the shift button there as you can see you have access to all the numbers and you can actually customize all of these keys within the settings to be whatever you want. You have key, your key rep representations there, you have your key displays, uh, displayment right there which is optional um, and if you click into this as you guys can see you can customize what all these different keys are and really bring out a lot of functionality uh, out of your stock keyboard, which is really cool. Again, this tweak is called iKiwi 4. Badgeomizer is a really neat tweak that allows you to customize the badges on your device, fully customize them. And there's a ton of options I'll show you guys here in a minute. But as you can see, my um, notification badge is basically just a little red dot. Uh, I took the number out. Well, I didn't take it out, but I made it really small and invisible to change the size of these notification uh, badges so it looks like you know I just have little red dots and I like the simplicity of that I don't need to see I have one two three missed notifications I'd rather just see that I have a missed missed notification in general I don't need numbers and then also the new or updated app um, blue dot has I've changed to kind of a little red square it looks like it has a little tag hanging out the bottom of the application there though those are apps that I've recently updated and that's how I know they are updated um, there's a ton of options with Badgeomizer. Let's go into the tweaks here and go to Badgeomizer. So you can customize your badge, your close box, which is basically your app delete button, uh, and then your new dot, which I mentioned. So if we go into the badge section, I'm not going to go too in-depth with all of this because it's just a very in-depth tweak. But you can change the color of your badge. You get a cool little preview of what everything's going to look like at the top there. You have your label options here. Um, as you can see, my label is transparent, which is basically the number that's in it. Uh, you can change the size, which I've done. You can change the position of it. Um, you have border options. You have glow options. You also have animations, like I said. Let's go ahead and do one so you can see what it looks like. It's pretty crazy. So we'll do the Mac OS X dock bounce. And as you can see, when I exit, the, the notification badges basically bounce like they do in... Um, OS X, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just an idea of what the animations do. And there's a ton of options with that. You got the animation speed, a bunch of different animations, a very, very, very in-depth tweak. Like I said, it allows you to customize your badges, your closed boxes, and also the new app page dots. So a very cool tweak. Again, it's called Badgeomizer. And the last tweak I got for you guys is called Roman Pad. Uh, this is 
basically an updated version to Roman passcode, which was an old tweak that was really cool. Uh, so if we go into the phone app here, and as you can see, the, um, the buttons there are in Roman numerals, and also the passcode on the lock screen is the same way. You'll have Roman numerals there instead of the numbers, and I just really like the way this looks. I, I don't know why. I've always liked Roman passcode. It doesn't work on iOS 12, and like I said, this is kind of the newer version of it, and I just think it looks really good having uh, those numbers as Roman numerals instead of actual numbers, and I'm not sure why, but I just like the style. Uh, and again, that is called Roman Pad. And now I just want to add one more application in this video just because it is very useful to have and it might help you guys out quite a bit. Uh, it is called iOS Repo Updates and basically you, the way you get this application is it's just from Safari. It's just a website, but uh, through Safari you can add it to your home screen and that's what it looks like. We can go ahead and launch it here. Now what this app allows you to do is to search for any tweak and it'll tell you what repo to add in order to install uh, the tweak or package from Cilio or Cydia. So um, the application I showed you guys earlier was called Crash Reporter and it's actually from a custom repo. So let's go ahead and type out Crash Reporter and we'll click on search. Now there's an original Crash Reporter and that one does not work as you can see that is iOS 3 from the Big Boss repo. Uh, the one I showed you guys in this video is the updated version. It is Crash Reporter and it's the Coke Pokes version, the updated version. So once you find the tweak that you're searching for, you can click on the package and it gives you more information down here. And as you can see, it does give you that repo URL. And from here, you can just click on and copy it and then you can go into Cydia or Cilio and you can add that repo to get the package. And like I said, that's super useful. Um, you know, if, if you're trying to find a tweak or whatever, you know how it's spelled, but you can't figure out what repo it's from, go into that application, type it out. You can add the repo, as you can see, automatically add. I already have it added, so I'm not going to do it, but it makes it really easy to add repos, to find tweaks, themes, whatever you want uh, that are through Cydia and Cilio directly through this application, so definitely worth having. I'll leave the link for this down in the description. I'll also leave all the names of the tweaks that I mentioned down in the description. Also, like I said, if there's any if there's any uh, other tweaks on my device that you guys are curious about, like I said, I've covered mostly all of it at this point. The playlist link for all those tweaks is down in the description. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.